Welcome to part two of the Read Out Loud tutorial. This part is on Draft Builder. So last time we started a Read Out Loud file. I showed you how to get started on Read Out Loud. So I just launched Read Out Loud. And I'm going to go to File, Recent Files, to find my file. There it is. When you save, you go to Recent Files. It's the quickest way to find your file. Um, now, I've been through just about all the websites that I had to read, and I got information that's going to be useful to me in uh, uh, writing whatever it is I need to write. In this case, our public announcement or public awareness blog. Now that I've got information here, and mind you, when you look at this type of information, that's the one that I typed. Those are my words. All these other ones with these bookmarkish looking things, those are the ones I copied straight out of a website. So even though the information is organized here to help me read it, it's not information I can use in my writing. I still have to write it in my own words. So I'm going to go to File, and then down to Send to Draft Builder. We send it to Draft Builder because that's how this program works. They work together. So I've got the familiar outline-ish looking uh, part here. And then over here I've got something a little different. If you put your cursor in the middle, see how you can move this? I want to minimize this one and make this one uh, bigger. Right now there's a tree view of all my topics and subtopics and sub-subtopics. What Draft Builder is really good for is for reorganizing anything that didn't quite work out. And there's also a concept map view that might look more of what you've done in preparation to write, where you make a mind map or a, a, a web of information. And you can see here the green ones have lines that go to the yellow ones, and the yellow ones have lines that go to the pink ones. And they're all over the place. It doesn't let me uh, rearrange them here. Let's see if I can zoom out a bit. It'd be nice to see more of it, because otherwise I have to um, scroll up and down. Now that kind of zoomed in. Ah, didn't want that. But if I do it again, there we go. Now I've got everything where I can see it and I don't have to um, move things around. So I, I look at my stuff here and there might be some that need to be moved around. And, and here's how you do that. Let's say I go to before raw sewage can be safely released back into the environment, it needs to be treated. Well, that sounds like treatment. How do you treat water that's already polluted? But this one is in the wrong area because I have treating water pollution right here. So I'm going to move this over to the treating water pollution area so that it's with the right place. No, it didn't quite make it. Now I'm going to move it over here. So I've got some other ones that uh, may or may not actually fit. Like industrial processes produce toxic waste containing heavy metals. Yeah, that's a, that's a cause of water pollution, so that one's in the right place. I've got denitrification is an ecological approach that can be used to prevent leaching of nitrates in the soil. Ooh, prevent. That goes to what you can, what can you do. There. I want to move that one to the what can you do, so it's all under prevention. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm taking my information, moving it around, and reorganizing it. I'm rereading it. And I don't know how to tell you how important that is, except by saying, that's really important. You want to read over what you just organized, because this might have taken you two or three days, maybe more. Um, and the more you read over it, the more you're going to process it in your own mind and learn from it. So when I'm done, I'm going to save that. And that is how you use Draft Builder. Take some time with this. Read your... Uh, different views here. Maybe go back to tree view, um, see if everything's in the right place here. You know, you get your causes. Do you have your major effects? Do you have your what can you do prevention? Do you have your treatments? Because once you have it all, 
then you're ready for the actual writing part. And this is building the draft. So this is kind of a rough draft uh, process. So again, let's save that. And uh, next time, I'll show you where to go next to write out loud.